Well, y'all, I am sitting here feeling sorry for myself. I'm in a funk. As you saw my overview, that lovely overview, I've got so much going on. I've got supper set out. I've got dishes to be done, dishes to be put away. Uh, a child who has cooked and left her waffle mess. Oh, you can't see that over the, over the mess that I have on my bar, on my island here. Another child who has dirtied up the plate from the microwave, making her uh, ramen. Get that dog. Get yourself out here. Hey, y'all. It's your friend Jamie. No time, no see. I've been trying to do every few days a different video, but today, this week, has been a hard week. This week has been hard. We've lost my mother-in-law. We, my husband also lost his uncle. My daughter lost her puppy dog. That actually occurred during the filming of our last video. It's been, it's been tragic. It's been tragic, it's been a lot. And today is our first day not traveling, not working, not going to church. It's just a day of rest. It feels kind of weird because it's not really a day of rest for me. It's just a normal work day. I got things to do, got to get things done, but I don't want to do any of them. Mm -mm, I don't want to do none of them. Like you saw on that table over there, the dining table, I've got, well, I have all the taxes done today. I've got medical things taken care of, I've got warranty information and things I've got to ship off over there. And then right in the middle of all that, I decided, well, I might as well bring out my craft stuff and dilly-dally with some crafts. And I know there's some things I wanted to do for Easter decor. And I pulled all that out and I thought, well, if I did this, then I'd need this, and then I'd need this. But I don't have any of that. So I gotta go to town, but I don't wanna go to town. But I need to go to town. And then I thought, well, I really, I have a lot to do. Um, I've got my four million loads of laundry to fold as usual. You know, I got the laundry done. I just don't have it folded and hung and put away. And that, we're, we're saving that for uh, movie time tonight. We're gonna watch a movie as a family, do some folding, do some laundry. And, and that'll take care of itself. But, like I have, you can see over here, what, ah, can you see that? I've got, ah, uh-oh, my finger, my finger. Look, which way, okay. Um, this is like curling your hair and looking in the mirror. It's weird. Um, so I have, I have chicken laid out. I'm gonna make some chicken in the air fryer. My, my wonderful sister Judy and her hubby Robbie, they blessed me with a, an air fryer. And I have wanted one for so long. And she's like, well, maybe you won't burn the house down with this. So <laughs> she's sending me recipes and stuff. So I'm gonna be making some air fryer chicken tonight. I've got one, or I've got dishes to wash. <sighs> I've got clean dishes to put away, even better. And I'd like to show you the mess that was left over there from Evie making waffles, chocolate chip waffles, which were delicious and I appreciated them, but she did leave a little bit of a mess. But you can't see that because of my mess. See, I've got this mess here on the counter. Oh, and then of course there's some, the platter from the microwave where Kenna made some ramen noodles is all ramen noodle-fied. And I've got to wash all that and clean all that. It's like I don't, I shouldn't be bored. I have more than enough to do. I have enough to keep me keep me pumping and busy. But I just feel bored. I mean, just like agitated bored. Now I did start Humira yesterday and they say that can make you a little edgy. And I, maybe that's what I'm feeling. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the letdown from the funeral and, and all the emotions of the week. You know, because that, that really has weighed heavy on us. Um, and so I was thinking about people who go, were felt like me from the Bible. People who were in sort of this mood that I'm in right now. And I was thinking about Jonah. You remember Jonah? He, he ran from God. He would go to Nineveh. God said, yes, you go into Nineveh, boy, if I have to put you in the belly of a whale. So he did. 
And then when he was done and everything was said and done, he was still so upset with himself and woe is me. And he laid under the, the tree and said, oh Lord, that I should die under this tree. Uh, very dramatic. And I guess that's what I'm feeling is very dramatic. And then there was Elijah, Elijah, who um, it says here in 1 Kings 19, you know, Elijah, after he uh, defeated the prophets at Mount Carmel, the prophets of Baal, um, he was like, oh, I'm just, just going to lay here and die. And, uh, and, and like, maybe you just need to eat or maybe you need a nap, you know. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes we all get like that. Sometimes we all have that moment where we just need a little bit of a change of pace. We need to get outside. We need to get up and do something. We need to eat something. We need to take a nap. I could do all those things right now, right now. Yeah, but I don't want to do what I have to do. Isn't it crazy? So I wanted to, to talk to you about that today. So I wanted to look at the Bible and see what can we say um, to ourselves? What verses could we repeat to ourselves that would renew our mind, that would change our mind, that would perk us up? Because I'm talking about all of us, not just me, y'all in this with me. Um, look at Philippians 4, 8. Said, and this is the NIV, it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Oh, woe is me. You know, ah, oh, you know, you're Jonah. Ah, oh, you're Elijah. But you need to put your mind on the Word of God. You need to think on the things that God has made, that God has done for us. And then I was looking on about some some things that we could perhaps write down. Stick a note on your on your mirror. Stick a note on your cabinet door. Put it on your refrigerator. You know, we've got stuff on the refrigerator. Put it on the front. Whatever you need to see to make you uh, realize that you are just how awesome God has made you. Just how wonderful. It is that you are in this world. Um, Psalm 139, 14 says, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God, you have made me. Um, Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the patterns of this world. Don't get caught up in all this mumbo jumbo. Don't get caught up in all these mully grubs. Don't get caught up in all this. <laughs> head on the hand and oh, oh, oh. Don't get caught up in all that. Don't get caught up in, I'm a victim. No, you're not. Mm -mm. You are who you are. You are who you allow yourself to be. Do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is what we're talking about doing right here. Then you will be able to test and approve what is God's will. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Because He only wants the best for you. He only wants the most joy for you. He only wants happiness for you. He only wants to give you peace of mind. Peace of mind. Peace of soul. Peace of spirit. These are all the wonderful things that God has for us. These are the things that He wants for us. These are the things He has made for us. These are the things He has given us. But we have to claim them. Psalm 139, 14 says, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. This is one of the clearest affirmations. Clearest, best affirmations in the Bible. That's why this is such a popular voice. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. There is another YouTuber and that she is fearfully and wonderfully made. And she is a delight. She is a delight and an inspiration and if you haven't checked her out, you bet you better get on that. You better get on that. Hey, Marina, my new best friend. Okay. Um, so Proverbs three, three through four says, "Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. 
write them on the tablet of your heart, then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Find them around your neck. Write them in the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's telling us that if we walk around with a chip on our shoulder, if we walk around in a depressed mood, if we walk around and just grouchy, we are not going to have favor. We are not going to have favor of man. We are not going to have favor of God. Create in you a right spirit, Lord. That's my child. Leaving. And then I was thinking about the I am's. The I am. Who am I? Who am I? I'm a child of God. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am filled with joy because Christ is my strength. I am a beloved child of God. I am held in God's hand and need not fear. I don't have to fear. God holds my hand. I am worthy of love because God loves me. I am marked by God as his child. I am alive in the Holy Spirit. I am treasured by God and I am God's masterpiece. These are all things that we could take away from those wonderful verses. All things. How about, I am, a I am chosen and appointed by God. I am healed by, from sin by God's love. I am not abandoned. Christ accepts me as I am. I am no longer a slave to fear. I am enough. I am wonderfully made. I am brave. I am made in God's image. I am resilient. I am free. I am redeemed through Christ. I am victorious. I am gifted. I am loved. I mean, you could go on and on and on. And these are all based in Scripture. All based in Scripture. And what are we supposed to do with Scripture? We are supposed to hide that word in our heart that we may not sin against God. We are supposed to hide that word in our heart so that we can have life, so that we can have abundance of, of abundant life, so that we can have abundant living, so that we can fulfill who Christ meant for us to be. I challenge you, grab a hold of a couple of scriptures, write them down, put them on your refrigerator, put them on your cabinet door, put them on your bathroom mirror, put them on your closet door, put them on your front door, put them on your back door, put them on your, your dryer door, put them on your washer door, put them on your freezer drawer, um, wherever you need, as many times as you need, because you need to surround yourself with the Word of God. You need to sound, or surround yourself with the love of Christ. You need the peace, the P-E-A-C-E, -E, the peace of Christ in your life. That, that peace will give you joy. That peace will give you patience. That peace will give you a lifting of your spirit. I already feel a lifting of my spirit just, just telling you about this. And maybe that's why I brought this to y'all today. Maybe that's why I'm talking about this. Because just talking about this with y'all has already lightened my load. And I think I might be able to get out of this funk today. I hope I can get out of this funk today. No, I will get out of this funk today. Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Because I have Christ living within me. I have the Holy Spirit in me. I have joy, peace, patience, kindness, patience, faithfulness, self-control. Oh my goodness. I am a child of God. What more do I need? Let's get him do something. Let's get him do something. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let's get him do something. What are we going to do? What are you going to do? I think I'm going to get him clean this kitchen. I think I am. I'm already happier. I'm already feeling it. I'm, I'm, I'm already perking up. I think I'm fixing to get and clean this kitchen. And I'm going to clean up that mess over there because I ain't doing crafts today. I knew I full well wasn't going to do it. When I got it out, I was just passing some time, I guess. Wasting time. Wasting my precious time. The devil can't have my precious time. Mm-mm. I got things to do. You got things to do? Let's go get some stuff done. Come on, y'all. 
Let's kick this mule. I'm gonna be a firm, I'm gonna be a child of God, and I'm gonna rock on with my day. And I encourage you to do the same. Well, this is your friend Janie, and I ask that you please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to me. Hit that notification bell so you'll next know next time around in a couple of days when I post something else and we can get together again. And put a little love tap on that like button so that everybody knows that you like It's Free and Jamie. Well, at least, you know, YouTube will know. <laughs> Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Oh my goodness. And if you're fearfully created, Marina, 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 my best friend, Marina. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.